Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Hello, and welcome to the Burning Meat production of Robin Hood. Hello, my name is Grammy Daniels. Now, I don't know about you, but I love the story of Robin Hood. Do you know the story of Robin Hood? Well, good, good. I would just love to share the story with you. Is that okay with you? Well, let's get to it. It all started on a shiny day in England. You see, at the time, the king's name was King Richard. He was a good man, but he needed to go on an adventure to help his kingdom. So he started on his journey. Let, he left, leaving the throne empty. Now he had a son. He was an evil son named Prince John. And Prince John decided that if King Richard had left, he would take the throne and name himself king. There was just one man that stood in his way, Robin Hood. So when the time came, the sheriff of Nottingham declared Robin Hood an outlaw and hung up signs around England proclaiming it. Deep inside Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood and his merry men lived hardly inside of the dense home. Robin, Little John, Much the Miller's son, Jacques, and Will of Scarlet enjoyed stew by the fire. Robin was off on, the own, on his own in the city. So where is Robin anyway? He's out in the city doing business. Oh, we take from the rich and give to the poor, the merry men and the great Robin Hood. He's probably talking to his best friend. Yeah, I haven't seen Mary in a while. Mm, this chili's good. Thank you. It's a personal recipe. Say, shouldn't Robin be back by now? Told ya, he's with Marion. I wonder what he's doing. That was Robin Hood and his Marion's camp. They were outlawed by Prince John, so they can't live in a city or anything like that because Prince John's men will find them and capture them. Now let's go see what Robin's doing. Hey guys, it's me, Robin Hood. I'm just enjoying a day out in the city. Anyways, if you see a man with a guard walking into the bar, just let me know. If, if you do, I'm just going to make up a different name, so go along with it if I do. Hey, can I have an orange juice? Make that a double. Greetings, say, have you seen a tall, skinny man with a green hood named Robin Hood? What? No, my name is, um, my name is actually Ignatius. Wow, strange name, Iggy. Can I call you Iggy? Sure, if you want to. You seem like a good lad. My name's Steve, but you can call me the Tinker. Would you mind helping me find this Robin? Sure, but would you mind uh, telling me why you're after him? Sure, the sheriff I admit. So, the sheriff is after me again. What'd you say? <laughs> oh, nothing. Okay, let's go look for Robin Hood. Uh, sounds good, but uh, one more thing. I uh, actually may be Robin Hood, so... Oh, awesome. Wait, what? Oh, well as you probably heard, the Tinker was hired by the Sheriff of Nottingham to catch Robin. But he defeated the Tinker and stole the jewels that were with the Tinker. Now, he had been transporting the jewels towards the other side of England. Luckily, Robin was able to stop them from getting there, and now Robin can give some of the jewels to the poor who need it. Sir! Quiet, I'm taking my beauty sweet. But sir! What? It's important. What is it? Robin Hood and the Tinker. Yes, you got him? Um, no, not exactly. Maybe we should just show you. Um, yeah, the uh, Robin Hood might have gotten away. Oh, well, at least you still have the jewels we stole, right? And he stole the jewels, too. Ugh, oh, you imbecile. Get out, you fools of a took. But, sir, I said get out. Marion is here to see you. Well, bring her in, but still, get out. Ah, Marion, lovely to see you. Yes, lovely to see you too. So, what brings you here to my great throne? Yeah, um, I think I can bring you Robin Hood if I have the, you know, permission. Uh, well, how are you going to do that? With some luck and a little help from the Night Watchman. And the, oh, the White Night Watchman. Well, permission you shall have. Have fun. Thank you. The Night Watchman was a guardian of the town. They protected the country from danger. The Night Watchman also helps out Robin Hood. Though little did King Richard know, Marion was the same person as the Night Watchman. Though Marion told Prince John that she was going to find Robin, she just really was going to find Robin and tell him the bad news that Prince John had told Sir Hiss in the Tinker earlier that hour. I wonder where Robin is. I wonder where Marion is. It's the Night Watchman! Catch her! No, it's me, Marion! Sorry. I just took you for the night watchman. Well, don't do that again. Sorry. Hey, Sir Hiss, get him! No, it's me, Robin. Oh, I'm mistaken for Sir Hiss, sorry. Yeah, well, try not to do that again. 
Get them! Why did you come here, Marion? To warn you about the attack that Prince Shadow is planning this very moment. Oh, uh, well, thanks, I guess. You think we got some plans to go wrong, ain't that right? Yup. Are you going to tell me the plan? Sure! We're going to do what we always do. Oh, we take from the rich. Guys, seriously, you sing that so much. Are you gonna tell me? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the jewels from Prince John, and then we're gonna give it to the poor. And we're gonna need your help. Okay, so here's the deal and the plan. We'll give you both. Yeah, I got it. I didn't say anything. Yeah, but I was agreeing with. Okay, whatever. So. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna continue. Anyways, Marion will be talking to, to Prince John on the wagon. Then, me and Little John are going to go in front of the prince and steal his jewels. Will and Much are, gonna, are going to yell out to cause a distraction. And then, Jacques, I'm going to need you to steal the rest of the jewels. Then we'll take off the wheels on the wagon, pretending to have captured Marion. Marion, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Though I didn't succeed in the capture of Robin Hood. Ah, well, I didn't think you would. The carriage stopped. I wonder why. Guy of Gisborne. Why is the carriage stopped? There are a couple of men on the side of the road with fireworks and very loud voices, like very loud. I think the guards can handle this. Yeah, you're probably right. Hey, they're merry men. Hello, my king. Hello, peasant. Please, money for the poor, food for the poor. Maybe we should give him some jewelry or something. No! Please, may I kiss the royal fingers? Fine. Uh, you're being robbed. Nonsense. All your gold. I've been robbed. You've been robbed. Carriages, ride. We can't. The wheels have been stolen. Ah! Uh, a great day for sun tanning. Not in Rochester, that is. <laughs> <laughs> My lord, Robin and his merry men. Yeah? What about them? They're coming to siege the castle and they have an army too. How did they get that? They freed all the prisoners. Ugh. Somebody get my sword. Seize them! Get them, guys! Ah, the night watchman! So many enemies! The only true king I serve is King Richard! Wow, Robin seems to be winning against Prince John's men. At around this time, King Richard is returning from his crusade. He was captured, but he just escaped about a week ago. Oh, it looks as if Robin is chasing after Prince John. Watch! Uh, it seems that John has taken the throne while I've been gone. What should I do with him, sir? Throw him in the dungeon! Hey! From now on, all that Prince John has stolen will be returned to you. Hey! From now on, Robin Hood and his merry men will no longer be declared outlaws. Hey! And from now on, the tinker will not have a job. And they all lived happily ever after. That was exciting. Robin finally won. My grandparents used to always read that story to me. Thank you for watching the Burnaby production of Robin Hood.